Hello everybody, Wheezy here. Today I am going to show you how to bypass HDCP 2.2 on the PlayStation 5 so that you can capture HDMI 2.0 and 2.1 4K 60Hz gameplay without worrying about HDCP. I'm going to walk you through everything that you need. I'm going to show you the equipment you need and where to get it and you're going to figure it out super easy. So come along, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so briefly, I'm going to turn this down a little bit because my PlayStation is breathing in the background, giving its oohs and ahs. What is HDCP and why might you want to bypass it? HDCP is high bandwidth digital content protection, high definition content protection. It is a security protocol that encrypts the signal between your PlayStation 5 and your display device, whether it be a monitor, a TV, or a, where are you, video, oh no, it's over here, all right, it's back, it's, it's right there, there it is, video capture device, and what it does is there's laws and governments and shit that say, we don't want you to be able to capture some stuff from your console on there, and so what we'll do is create this encryption and make people who create capture devices, like this one, uh, check for that HDCP encryption and reject doing captures when that's active. Why might you want to bypass that? Well, maybe you have, like me, somewhat of a complicated AV setup and you don't want to be dicking around with plugging and unplugging cords when, uh, when you've got to deal with this shit. So for instance, for me right now, if I enable HDCP on the PlayStation 5, I've got my audio output from the capture device hooked into this monitor, well, my speakers that are hooked to the monitor, that's where I get my audio. If I turn on HDCP, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. You're going to hear this because HDCP encrypts the entire signal, audio and video. So I'm going to there, enable HDCP. See how the audio stopped? OBS, which is running off my capture device, is going to pop up and say, oh, this is copy protected content. Boom. You can't, you can't capture that. The pass through still works, so it's still on my display. But because the audio is coming out of here, now, so maybe you have some reasons you want to bypass HDCP because it's just irritating for your setup. Or maybe you have other unsavory reasons. I don't give a shit, I'm not your mom. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go hook this up, show you how it works, show you the equipment you need, and we're gonna, we're gonna get this shit fixed. Okay, so here's our setup. I'm gonna break that down in just a moment. Here we can see that we have got HDCP enabled on the PlayStation 5. You can hear the glorious audio coming out. You can see here on OBS that we have got HDCP enabled. And that we are doing all kinds of gravy, all right? So we're good. So what did I do? We have got three devices here that you will need. As of me recording this, the end of 2020, beginning of 2021, all of this stuff is available on Amazon. I'm gonna post links and stuff like that so you guys can order it. If any of this stuff isn't available, you guys comment, let me know, and I'll have to go through an update. I have bought a bunch of different devices to test this stuff out and find something that works for me, so I'm gonna break it all down for you. Um, I have a couple of these old school splitters that I've been using back since the Xbox 360 days. They both work just fine. I picked this one, I'm gonna link whatever down below so you guys can find what's in stock and get it. What's important about this? HDMI 2.0 compatible splitter, because we're talking about doing HDCP 2.2, HDMI 2.0, HDCP 2.2. It's got to be compatible. It's got to be able to pass through the handshake to the device or do it itself. HDMI splitter. This is an HDCP 2.2 to HDCP 1.4 converter. That's an older version of HDCP. This is an old school not technically going to talk about 4K compliant splitter. It's only really rated to support like 1080p, but it's just a dumb splitter. It's just a bunch of wires hooked up to each other in there. It can get warm when it's running 4K 60 hertz, but it does the job. And what does this do? It's a splitter, right? Well, it happens to strip off HDCP 1.4, which means input goes here. This, compa this is compatible with HDCP 2.2. This takes 2.2 down to 1.4, and this takes off 1.4. No more HDCP. Now, I kind of hooked this up in a field expedient way just because of where the cables are. So I'm gonna 
post a link to my website, wheezysgaming.com, to a post where I'm gonna have a diagram for this. Um, I don't even know, I probably won't put it in the video. I may display it in the video. So I'll give you a diagram so this is pretty easy, but I'll just walk you through it. And then I'm also gonna show you, this is not necessary, but I will also link this in case you're like me and you have multiple devices. So I got the PS5, Series X, I've got my PS4 Pro, my Xbox One X, and I want them all hooked up at the same time. So I've also got an HD, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to see in here. I've got an HDCP 2.2 compatible switch. So this will allow me to switch between all of them, which means that the output from this into that circuit will strip HDCP from every single device we've got here. Um, so not gonna get into this too much. This is just a switch right now. It's on the input for the PS5 that's coming out. So this is the video output, video output for PS5, doesn't it switch? Output from the switch is coming over here to this splitter. This is the input from the, from that's coming from the switch. Um, this cord is going through that wall there out into my den to my big TV out there. This one is what I wanna go through my capture setup. So this orange cable, I got these color coded to try and help a little bit. This output from the splitter goes to the input on the HDCP down converter. This box, I actually looked it up. They had some legal uh, battles about this. And because of legacy electronic devices, an HDCP down converter, completely legal, not violation of any copyright laws, these things are here to stay. You can get this. Um, so this down converts to 1.4. Output from this goes to input of this splitter. I only have one output hooked up right now. I could use both of those outputs and one could go to one display and one go to another. Both of these outputs will be HDCP free. Okay, so output from this, I've got that cord going over to my Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus capture device. This has a 4K pass through, but it only captures at 1080p. You don't care, the point being, you wanna play at 4K, right? That's if you're like me, 4K 60 Hertz. If you have a 4K 60 Hertz capture device, this will also do that. Um, so we've got, Input to there, uh, where is it, back, yeah. So rip the input is the black one there, boop. Output is red. Output to my, doo -doo 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 -doo. where do you see it? You may not be able to see it, it's upside down in the dark, red, monitor. Cool, all right, so what we're gonna do is pull up here. Let's see if I can bring up the on-screen display so that we can see, doop, doop, doop. And where's, um, where, oh, info's up top. <sighs> Info, resolution, 3840 by 2160, that's 4K, 60 hertz, all right? 4K, 60 hertz, right here, OBS, right here, ready to capture. Now, the way I do this, home, just, you guys saw me enable HTCP, I don't necessarily have to go through this, but do I have, oh, I don't, I don't even know if I have, I'm still not an expert at navigating through, <laughs> The new XMB, those are media. I, well, what I was gonna do is try and pull up a, like the app for like Netflix or something like that. Anyway, point being, you guys see that HDCP is enabled. You, you don't, oh wait, there, there's a media, that's why. I keep, there's a media tab up here. I only do this just because everybody knows that this is HDCP protected, but here we are inside of OBS. So this, I will put links for all this down below so you can order this. Oh, great. Oh, I haven't signed in. Okay, sorry guys. No, so, no. Mother father. <laughs> these are not super expensive, but you know, this is, I mean, each of these costs between like 20 and 40 bucks. Um, so all together, you know, you're, it's not, it's not free to do a setup like this, but if you're like me and you want your life to be a little bit more convenient and a little bit less copy protected. Oh, I gotta dust this thing. Oh, Sony. Um, <laughs> then uh, yeah, this is gonna do the job for you. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully this is helpful. Um, I'm gonna do another video for the Series X, but spoiler alert, it's the exact same process. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna make it searchable so you can find whatever you're looking for. So here's how you capture 4K 60 Hertz. Now, let's, let me switch over real quick and address something. So I've had this question asked in some of my other videos. So I'll address it here in that I can't really address it as much. 
Series X, PS5, support 4K 120 hertz. Does this setup support 4K 120 hertz? The answer that I will give you is I don't know, but it's possible. I don't have a 4K 120 hertz display to test it on. And without the, the HDMI handshake to say, feed me 120 hertz, I can't, I can't without 120 hertz 4K display, I can't test that. Um, so I can't guarantee that. And none of these advertise that spec except for, um, actually, no, this one doesn't. So the, the switch and the splitter are specced at HDMI 2.0, which supports 4K 60 hertz. HDMI 2.1 is the spec that officially supports, and I think it's 48 gigabits per second, something like that, supports 4K 120 hertz. Actually, the HDMI 2.1 spec supports up to like 10K 120 hertz or something ridiculous like that. That said, throughput on an electronics level is a function of two things. One is if it goes through something that processes it like a video card, can it process the data at a fast enough rate to give you a usable signal? These are not doing thinking. They're mostly just passing stuff through, all right? Um, so they don't necessarily, they don't have like processors that have to try and deal with that amount of data. They're not trying to display it. They're just passing it through. So the biggest issue with pushing more data than they're rated for, and that's what currently happens with this, it's only rated for 1080p, but again, it's just wires. It warms up because it pushes a whole lot of fucking electricity. I mean, that's, those of you who don't know what goes down these wires, these data signals are electricity. It's a lot of electrons, it's heat. Um, so that warms up. And actually, disclaimer, this one over time can warm up and when it gets hot, you will get a little bit of weird noise sometimes in your video. It'll get a little pixely. Um, it still looks great, but you'll see some hot pixels. All right, you let that cool down and it works fine. Not ideal. This is the best solution right now. And honestly, it doesn't happen that often. Matter of fact, I'm looking at it right now. Nothing, perfectly clear, no noise, it's great. Okay, um, but that's what is heat. So, so can it push 4K 120? I'm not gonna guarantee you, all right? But it probably will. I can't test it. They don't advertise it, but it, but it probably will. If any of you have a setup out there with a 4K 120 hertz display, first of all, I'm jealous. Second of all, set this up you got a 4K 120 hertz display. You can afford to spend 60 bucks to do this, right? You got a 4K 120 hertz display. Set it up. Let me know if it works. All right? And I'll, I'll give you all the, the props. <laughs> all right. So that's it. Um, this isn't mostly what I do. I'll do a lot of gameplay stuff. So if you guys are new around here, stick around. Check out my channel before you decide if you want to subscribe. I do some cool stuff. I'm, I'm pretty okay sometimes. Um, but yeah, uh, if this is some value for you, this is what I try to do is I try to give people useful information. I'm a bit of a nerd, engineer by trade, software guy. So uh, yeah, as you can tell, bit of an electronics and video game nerd. So yeah, stick around. Hope this was helpful. Talk to you guys later. Peace.